little Anna took on the protective role for adult Anna Lynn, and she voiced my needs when I couldn't get there to speak them. It sounds like little Anna was the part of you that still had the courage to ask for the love that she felt like she truly deserved. Yeah. <laughs> I see why you're a good doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Please give little Anna a hug from me. Please do that. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, also in my experience, in working with other patients who've had DID, the ultimate goal is integration. What are your thoughts yeah. on that? That is it. That's what it's all mm -hmm. about. It's, it's a coming home. And I had that. I'm so grateful that I mm -hmm. had an integration moment. And... But I wasn't exactly ready for it, so yeah. I, that room that I had with all of my I, yeah. others, I had a moment of profound love, and that was a really powerful moment in my life with someone just expressing love that I didn't feel like I deserved mm -hmm. and didn't understand, and they were like, whether you like it or not, I'm going to love you, yeah. and I was like, what is this? <laughs> this is uncomfortable. I don't like it. Ew. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And then, you know, waterworks, obviously. Yeah. It's crazy to think that love could be so confronting, but love was very confronting because it had been so dangerous. And in this moment, I received the love. I actually accepted it. And I went in the room in my mind, and I was like, they all sucked up into me. Like, it was like, and then I, I'm looking around, like, where did everybody go? Yeah. Like, what's happened? Like, we're a family. Where'd y'all go? Yeah. And I call my doctor. I'm like, I don't know what happened. They're like, they're gone. And then I started to go into the room, started to disintegrate in my mind, which was really wild because you think, oh, it's your mind. You're mm -hmm. in control of it. Oh. You do a little bit of inner child work in EMDR and there's a whole movie that plays that you're just watching and it has little to do with your control over it. And, and in that moment, I, I, began the process of shifting from understanding to understanding mm. of what integration was about. And the way I describe it now is I was that hammered mirror with a hundred faces of myself and no glue to put myself back together. Now I have an overwhelming, overflowing amount of glue because glue is love. And those pieces are all stuck back together into one whole self now because of the love that little Anna led me to because she was still open to receiving it. And I asked her to be my guide. And when I lead inner child workshops, I ask everyone, if it feels right for you, I invite you to ask your inner child to be your guide from here on out because they will tell you what you don't know to know about how you feel and what you need. Children are so good at that. Yeah. So I love the conversation of integration. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful how you describe that. It really is, Doc.